Today, we're gonna be attempting the hardest mission in Space Flight Simulator, the Venus mission. Landing on Venus is easy. It's coming back that's hard. Venus has an atmosphere that's even thicker than Earth, so getting a rocket out of Venus's atmosphere is extremely hard. So we're gonna try it today. All right, we're actually gonna use infinite build area just so we can get a big area, but we're not gonna use any other cheats. So we know we're gonna need to start with this. So this is what's gonna come back to Earth, just this little module here. So we need to figure out how to get a rocket onto Venus and back, starting from this. So I say we try to figure out the smallest rocket that can get to Venus, and that means that that rocket, if we could get it onto Venus, would be able to make it back. Okay, we're gonna see if this rocket here, a pretty simple rocket, could make it to a Venus transfer orbit. Okay, good takeoff. Yeah, it's going so good so far. I don't think it's gonna be enough, quite enough to get all the way into orbit and a transfer orbit to Venus, but we're gonna see. Okay, that'll put us into above the Carmen line. Okay, we have a tiny bit left in our first stage. We're gonna push to orbit here. And then activate our next stage. It might actually be just enough, because this is an efficient engine we're running now. Okay, we made it to low Earth orbit with still 60% of our fuel left in this stage, which I think is enough to get us to Venus. So let's navigate to Venus. We're gonna have to wait till Earth is here. Let's speed up time a bunch. Till Earth is in a good spot. Okay, about here. And then we have another transfer window on Earth right here. So time warp there. Okay, and we'll start to speed up. Should probably add some RCS that would help with the positioning after we get this. But we'll try to just eyeball it. I think this is gonna be perfect, actually. Okay, now we check our encounter with Venus, and we want it to be touching Venus or as close as we can to Venus. So look, we're gonna boost a tiny bit. Get it. Boom. Okay, that'll work. So actually, we're just gonna... I'm gonna time warp here. Okay, and so now that we time warp to Venus, we can actually adjust our orbit even further. Perfect, just like that. So now we can warp right here, right before the atmosphere. Okay, so now we can actually stage this off and just wait, basically. Because we're gonna start going through the atmosphere. And hopefully this heat shield does what it's supposed to and slows us down enough and then we can just parachute gently to the bottom or you can hear the rest of the rockets blowing up getting very hot 4,000 okay it's slowing down yeah we'll be fine okay here's the surface you can see it starting to come up here yes and the atmosphere is even thicker than earth so it's actually going to slow us down a lot okay we should be able to open parachute now and we just gotta wait. Oh, we're like landing perfectly on this little mountain. That's perfect. All right, here comes the ground now. And a gentle touchdown. Perfect, so this rocket can go from Earth to Venus. So theoretically, it should be able to go from Venus to Earth. That means that if we can get this rocket to the surface of Venus, it should be able to make it all the way back. We want to try to add not too much weight, but whatever we need. Okay, let's see if that stays. So this landing gear should help us when we're landing. Coming down. But we don't want to have to use any of our fuel to land. So we're going to need some parachutes on here. Let's also add some RCS. Okay, parachute test number one. Okay, that should be enough height. So we're gonna speed up till we start coming back down towards the Earth. Okay, parachutes go. So if these parachutes work, then they should work on Venus too, because the atmosphere is actually even thicker there. Oh wait, we're slowing down even more. We're only going 10. Okay, okay, it works. 
Okay, <laughs> here's the plan for the re-entry, or I guess just the entry to Venus. We have this little thing here that's gonna protect it from heat. And then, so my plan is that we enter the atmosphere of Venus with this thing, and then once uh, we're going slow enough that we don't need to worry about heat anymore, this will break off, and then our parachutes will open. Okay, so now, this is our get to Venus and back little section, so now we just need to get this whole section to Venus. So now we need some big fairings. All right, here we go. Here's the first attempt at the final build. Let's give it some color. Oh, we can make it all. I kind of like orange. Let's do it all orange, just for fun. Okay, it should all be staged now. We're gonna save it. Here we go. Here we go. First attempt at launch. Okay, take off. It does take off. Very tall rocket, but it seems like it's going okay so far. Okay, stage separation is good. Alright, our rocket's on its way to space now, so we can just chill for a second. And then right at the top, we're gonna start boosting again, and then go sideways. And this will push us into orbit. Looks like we're gonna run out on this stage, that's okay. Okay, fairing separation looks good. Hopefully we have enough thrust here to get into orbit. Have to start angling up. Okay, boom, we made it to Earth orbit. So now what we're gonna do is try to get a transfer window with Venus. We are gonna have to wait for the Earth again. That's okay. Speed up time here. Okay, and now we need a transfer window with the Earth, which is gonna be right here. We still have 63% of our fuel left in this stage, and this is our last stage before we need to start saving fuel to come home. So we need to start accelerating. Okay, so now we're on our way to Venus, but we can use our RCS to position our orbit even more. You can see our RCS will change our path, and we want to get as close as we can. We probably even want to touch it. Like that. That's what we need. Okay, so now we're going to wait. Uh, so we're over here on Earth. There's our rocket. You can see it's on its way to escape Earth. And... Now it's right here, so you can see it's kind of like floating between them, but it's also like going around the sun. And we're going to wait for it to encounter Venus up here in a second. So what I'm going to actually do is use the rest of our fuel in this tank, because we're about to break it off anyway, to just slow down so we don't burn up as hard as we possibly can. Turn my rocket. Here's our massive rocket that we still have about to head into Venus and just burn off the fuel. Let's actually get a little closer, maybe here. And we're just gonna burn that engine. All right, so we're slowing down now before we head into Venus, and we wanna try to scrape the atmosphere, basically. Because our heat shields here are going to slow us down in Venus's atmosphere, but we are gonna use the rest of our fuel in here to slow down, because we don't need it. All right, okay, this engine is now out. So, now we break off here. And this should hopefully slow us down enough. So we're gonna warp here. We start entering the atmosphere. Here we go, this is, this is the scary part. We gotta aim like this. Okay, here comes the heat shield. We don't wanna turn over. That would be the worst thing that could happen. Okay, looks good so far. Burning. I feel like we're starting to turn. Is that just me? Turn off RCS. The heat shields are getting so close. Ah, no! Oh! Okay, we just turned the other way. Okay, load my quick save. Oh my gosh, I've been literally trying for 30 minutes over and over. Look, I have three quick saves 
of me just reloading this point over and over and I cannot get it. It keeps turning. Come on, this time, this time. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Oh! That one was the closest one! One more, one more. Oh. I only see one possible solution for this without redesigning the entire rocket. Just for the re-entry, we're doing no heat damage. I've been literally trying for so long. Okay. Made it through the atmosphere. We had to cheat a little bit, but that's okay. So now our next thing will be to break this section off. Hold on. What the freak? So I'm gonna tilt towards the ground while I break it off so it doesn't ruin our rocket. Perfect. Okay, now we need to face the other way and get ready to open our parachutes and hopefully we can land smoothly. And now that we're here, we can turn heat damage back on actually. We just could not get through the Venus atmosphere no matter how hard I tried. Okay, 2,500 meters and we can deploy our chutes. Hopefully we land in a relatively flat area. Okay, open chutes. And landing legs come out. Okay. Yeah, this seems like it's gonna be okay. Okay, here we go, touchdown. Boom! Perfect! Oh, okay, we finally landed on Venus. Now we gotta get back. <laughs> you can see all the burn marks on it. Here we go. We're gonna take off now. Start to pitch over. It doesn't give us a launch vector to follow like it does on Earth. Last time this tank got us into orbit and now it's it's got us into space and now it's out. Okay, we're trying from here. We still had a good chunk of fuel left last time. I'm um, coming to Venus, so let's see. Well, I think we need to be going slower because it's starting to heat up. Okay, we got into space with 55% of our fuel left, so let's time warp here. Okay, now we gotta get into Venus orbit. Okay, reach Venus orbit with 23% of our fuel left. I think this will still work. Navigate to Earth. Okay, transfer window there. Wait till there. Depends on how much Delta V we need to get back. Okay, transfer window here on Venus. 676. Three, two, one. Okay, RCS. Get it. Okay, 7% of our fuel left. It's like we have like the perfect amount of fuel. We want our RCS to run into the Earth. Basically, so let's wait a minute on this. Right, okay. I'm just gonna let it fade a little bit till we're like cutting through the atmosphere a little bit more. Right there, okay. Now we just gotta wait and we're traveling back to Earth now. Okay, we're gonna break off now and time warp. Oh, hopefully that's cutting through enough. Okay, this should be a lot easier to keep stable than that rocket from before. Okay, seems like it's good. We went, that was very fast entrance into the atmosphere. A lot of G's probably. Parachute open. And I think we'll be good. Parachute fully open. And here we go. Boom, touchdown, we did it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more Space Flight Simulator, leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, that's crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.